Hello and welcome to this free skiing special here on SkiUnion.com. I'm Kevin Harris and today I'm joined in the studio by Michael Edwards, aka Eddie the Eagle Edwards. If you're of a certain age, you'll know that name. I certainly do. Also joined by Emma Bebb from the Ski Club of Great Britain and from Visit Tyrrell, we've got Holger Gassler. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Great to have <laughs> you. you here. Uh, Eddie, let's start with you. I mean, the, the kinds of jumps that the kids are doing these days in the terrain parks are a bit different to the ski jumping you were doing uh, at the Winter Olympics in Calgary yeah. in 88. Um, but I mean, how have you seen sort of skiing change and trends within skiing change since you were at the Olympics? Oh, enormously. Uh, sports are evolving and techniques are changing. Yeah. I mean, the skis have changed from the, the straight waisted skis now to you've got your parallel skis, your, your carvers, and yeah. the, the bindings have changed. And of course, the introduction of snowboarding and yeah. all that kind of stuff, that was unheard of back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. The, the monoboards, they used to ski like the French, you know, monoboard, yeah. all that kind of stuff. All that's gone and there's blades now. I mean, it's changed completely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and things are just evolving naturally and I think it's great yeah. and and the new disciplines that you've got coming out now that uh, you know more to freestyle where you're just skiing down a slope and you do lots of different tricks it's more yeah. individualistic and you know you can put your own uh, spin on things and yeah, I think it's great. quite literally put your own spin <laughs> on things twin definitely. tip skis and you know yeah. park skis and all the rest and of I, it I think it's great and I think it will continue to evolve as yeah. well over the next 20 years who knows I yeah definitely I mean you see more and more kids don't you and, and Emma you'll have seen this as well you know through the ski club great but more and more kids are sort of aspiring to be freestyle skiers than perhaps aspiring to be racers, downhill racers. Defi kind of a well definitely, with the uh, indoor slopes in the UK, you know, we yeah. don't have mountains here in England, up in Scotland obviously, yeah, but we've got UK slopes all over the country and that's developed a, a huge freestyle mm. scene and it means more and more kids are getting into it, which is great. And I think it's accessible as well, isn't it? Because when kids go on a, on, a, on a family ski holiday, it's not like they're going to be, you know, crashing around gates doing downhill GS or slalom, but if they see jumps and bumps and little bits of terrain, then they're going to be only dodging around on their twin tip skis, aren't they? That's right. Yeah, twin tips are great. Yeah. I, I love playing with those. And you know, I I learnt and I grew up on a dry ski slope. Yeah. And and I loved my racing and I loved skiing through the gates. But for me, my entertainment was jumping. And I used yeah. to line up my mates and jump over them, and then I jump over cars. And yeah. and I used to just love. You had records for that, didn't you? That's right. Yeah, yeah. I still do. Yeah. yeah, I think I have the world record for jumping over cars and stuff. <laughs> and, and that was my entertainment. But yeah. uh, but now, I mean, if I if I'd have grown up now and I have all these different things that are going on. Mm. Uh, I think it'd be fantastic and I wouldn't get bored. No, exactly. And speaking of not getting <laughs> bored, uh, Holger, like in, in the Austrian Tyrol region, for example, plenty of great resorts with plenty of great uh, freestyle and free ride facilities. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the best free riding, which we call is off piste, is uh, definitely San Anton, Altberg region. So yeah. I think the terrain where you ski on piste is smaller than the terrain where you can ski, ski off piste. So they classified in kilometers of slopes at over 180 kilometers. So yeah. I think you don't have to do every day the same sort of um, off piste route. Sure. Especially um, as well, my hometown Innsbruck. Yeah. I mean, I always have to look out of my window and sort of look on the North Kette and it's just wicked. So you, you go through the rocks and um, uh, down there you see the city and you just ski down uh, and it's just amazing views and um, a lot of um, sort of routes where you can go as well and it's of course Kitzbühel and the nearby Fieberbrunn. Yeah. Fieberbrunn is like part of the Swatch um, f um, free ride world tour mm. and Fresh Tracks offers a free ride course there as well and sort of a free ride weekend you can yeah. go on to. And for freestyle, I definitely recommend Meyerhofen. Uh, we were talking earlier on about this, yeah. about the Vance Park. So um, yeah. it's really, yeah. off, I think, from a easy level up to a very, very difficult mm. level and uh, a fantastic park. But I'm, sh I'm sure you know more, more about that. Yeah, I have actually yeah, been in the park in Meyerhofen before and I'm not very good at freestyle, but there is a a beginner's area and it's right. actually slightly away from from the main park as yeah. well so I think for a beginner you don't feel intimidated you don't feel like the the pros are watching mm. you and, it, and it's really easy just to have a go which is great yeah mentioning the pros their slope style is going to be in the 2014 Olympic Games and we're looking pretty good for that Em. we are I mean it's it's absolutely brilliant news you know um, freestyle skiing has been the, the biggest, the fastest growing segment of skiing for a while now yeah. and it's just absolutely brilliant that it's now being recognised and getting the recognition that it deserves yeah. as an Olympic discipline. Yeah definitely, I'm you know, psyched to be sort of like looking forward to watching the 2014 uh, Olympic Games but uh, who are we going to be looking out for, like who, what are the big names? 
so definitely James Woods, yeah. Woodsy. He's already won a gold medal at the, in the World Cup in Argentina so far this season. Um, Paddy Graham, mm. James Machen, Murray Buchan and Katie Summerhays are all the ones to watch. Yeah, good stuff. Right, well, listen, it was short and sweet, guys. We only had sort of five or six minutes, but thanks ever so much. Um, Eddie, you know, legendary ski jumper. <laughs> the kids these days are not just going high up in the air, they're going high up in the air and round and round and round and round <laughs> as well. Right. Thanks ever so much for coming in. Uh, Holger, great to uh, listen to you from the Austrian Tyrol there, of course. I'm sure we'll be getting to the park in my half to practice. Uh, and Emma, thanks ever so much from the Ski Club of Great Britain Thank you. as well. And thanks to you uh, watching wherever you are. Uh, this has been a freestyle little chat here on skiunion.com. See ya and goodbye.